Hey my friends, it's Alicia Stringer here and today I want to share with you all the different ways that you can mask your link to hide it, to get people to take more action inside of your business. Don't we all want that to get more cl clicks on our link <laughs> inside of our social networks? Who's curious about what we're doing? So here is my main, one of my blogs here, aliciastringer.com and it is my empower blog so when you um, before you even able to connect to your domain you can start masking it and sharing with you with your um, your blog post so there are several different ways that I'm going to share with you that you can mask your domain so you can share it and be more professional looking inside of other social networks like Twitter and Facebook LinkedIn and so forth the first one I recommend here is socialmediabar.com all you do is grab your link <clears throat> let's say it's a capture page like this one that I want to use inside of Empower Network that's already ready for me so as soon as you get in you can start promoting so you copy that and you just add it in here and make it go viral right <laughs> so now we're ready to set it up what happens is that it goes to a new way for you to customize it so it's going to have a little slug at the beginning and something that you can customize at the end and it has you know some numbers that you can make it so you can make it shorten or something that you remember the secret inside the door To success. Okay. Almost a secret. So I want to copy that, put it in the description. And I'll add a little bit more. Okay, secret inside the door to success, your vehicle to help you drive faster to your success dream. I don't know, you just make it up, right? I was just kind of being creative. The image URL um, is when it's shared on Facebook, Google Plus, or so forth. So sometimes <clears throat> I like to um, just be creative and just go to Google and find an image. So I just come up with some keywords, I don't know, find images. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, this one was kind of a weird thing. Um, I don't like that one. I wanted to like, um, secret, I don't know. There we go. <clears throat> top, top secret or something. And yeah, just pick one. Okay, so I right clicked and did copy image URL. <clears throat> you might have to watch and make sure this one's on a pretty good site. If not, you know, go upload it to a great picture site, Facebook or something. But I was just searching for an image. Okay, so go back into here. And I paste that link. <clears throat> Sometimes in Google you can't get the JPEG link, so do watch that and go download it and make it your own. Alright, so that's an extra step. I just stole one. Probably shouldn't do that, but I did do it anyways. <laughs> Alright, and then I create a viral link. It's ready. So now my capture page is ready with a new link right there and always, you know, makes it neat to change it up. So what I do is save these in a notepad file so I can come back to it later and I have all my capture page links ready to share whenever I'm ready. And then you can um, share it right here. But notice when you go away from this page that you will not have access to this page and this link anymore. So that's why I say save it in a spot because it's not saved for you anywhere so as you can see um, it does not show the, did not show the image and so um, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's been going through some weird things um, And here is, I can share it on a page I manage. Usually I keep business together. All right, so then 
Um, there it is. I think I posted it on myself. I should have posted it as a page. And that's the way it works. So that's the first one. Okay, so that was socialmediabar.com, or you probably can go to smb01.com and create your own link there. So that is the first one I recommend you try. The second one is called zti.me, and that one does the same thing pretty much. It cloaks the link. I'll type in here too, zti.me, and you can do the same thing Let's go through how you do that process. Let's see. Right here's the link. Copy it. And you put it in here. We want to make sure um, random, random secret. I don't know if you can put anything customized there. Um, let's check the advance. I think you have to register. I never registered, but yet I think it still tracks all my links in here. Um, it looks like there's a two of them. There is a way, I think it shorts it and then it locks it. So you can log in and show your links. I'll just shorten this one. And you can also add tracking on the end with this. And say it in Facebook. There. I don't know. Alright. Um, there used to be a way of uh, that you can, like you can have an expiration date with password. Um, cloak it in different ways, cloak your affiliate links. Um, so that's my link right here, and you can kind of share it and as the QR code too. That's kind of neat. So I'll copy that, and I'll keep that in my handy note pile. I think it's funny how it's laughing out loud. <laughs> kind of funny, I guess. Okay, next one is uh, here. It is by domain. Okay, the short URL thing. Okay. The next one after zti.me is linkprosperity.com. This one does help if you are a member of um, Empower because you put your username there and it has a way for people to, um, if they click on the image above, they will. So let's go through that. Um, let's see. Um, follow Alicia. Our, well, I guess we could put a mask link there. Copy that. URL. Put the page title. Page description. Kind of the same thing. If you want to put a little bit more. And the thumbnail will be the picture. It usually will be that one. Um, let's go grab another one. Let's see if this one will work. Copy image URL. Back over to the prosperity. We got the JPEG. Username. Two ways success. And if you haven't gotten to, if you're on my team, you have gotten back into the back office of prosperity team, message me right away and I'll make sure you get some more team resources. Shorten your link. Now it's ready. Copy. I'm going to save it to my notepad as well. Hmm, that was my picture. Then copy. That's it. I like highlighting and copying. Good thing we noticed. Okay, control V as a victor, and I saved it. Okay, then you can share it, and you got your keyword good for it too. I know this doesn't say anything. Yeah, I'm curious to look like. Okay. All right, so there you go. Um, let's see what it looks like so you can see the top tab. So you see the top, um, it'll be right there. Uh, join the team, questions, you know, how you can get involved in Power Network right there. And then this share button um, you can do to your um, email and share it that way. Um, if you just click the link, it'll go right to 
the different places and Google Plus. So it's got all those different share links at the top. And it's very helpful if you do it for your blogs and then go hit all the spots you get to share inside there. Um, it's not really a channel. Let me see if I can add it to. There you go. It's a tool. Okay. A minute. Okay. So that is what the linkprosperity.com does. And there is one more. I'm going to share. Oh, I'm to the, um, that question right here. And it's hooked to you, so then when people register the join button, it's going to go to your dream page. I'm logged in, so it comes right back to my login page. All right, so that is Link Prosperity. There is one more right here. It's called MySocialEmpire.net, and you will have to register. And when you log in, after you register, it looks like this. And this is where you create your link in back office. And this has different features with it as you can um, keep your links, I think, when you upgrade in here. I um, have not used this. There's been some changes in like all the link um, cloakers and chainers. And so they've got some um, updates here at the top. So let's create one so you can see how this looks like. So let's put your awesome link right here. Oh, we can do that one I'm on backwards. See if I can find that link again. Here it is. Copy back over to our shortener. Okay, and then you can make your end of this long. Let's see. All right. And you have to do the same thing, find that image URL. So we'll go back over here to, um, oh, and if you think you've downloaded to here your Empower Network, I don't think you can use those images. You will still have to um, have your, um, oops, sorry, no, I did that. Um, you'll still have to host your images in another location. Uh, not when we search inside Google. this image. So make a bigger copy image URL and go back over to social media empire and paste that in there. All right, so we got Alicia Secrets. Done. Create the link. Oh, maybe I'm not, not logged in. <laughs> and then create. Either way, it should save it in there. So um, go back and log in and save that. I'll kind of go back and log in. And find it too. Another one that I use that's a plugin on my blog is called Pretty Link. So if you already have a WordPress blog and you um, want to use a way to cloak your links as well, Pretty Link is a plugin that you can upload and it does pay to use the pro version to cloak it enough in order to share it inside of Facebook. So I wanted to share that's my other resource that I use to help cloak and um, change my links so I'm able to share it inside of Power Network and inside of Facebook and stuff. So that is my um, link changers right there. Um, I think the easiest one to use is really ZTI. Um, it creates it for you. You don't have to go through all that hassle and mess of the images and everything. Um, same with pre-link. Um, too. I think it's pretty easy. You just put your link in there and you, you get your short link. Um, pretty link you can customize, of course, the URL slug. And this one, you know, I think you might can, but you need to register and stuff, and I haven't done that. So this is just the easiest one to go through and you don't have to register or anything. And it finds it. Um, the social media bar has had some ups and downs on it working, and so it should work and go right to your blog post on everything. Um, I think that's about it. So just have scheduled that you use these. I don't recommend you use every single one. I would say to pick one because if you pick one, I have had these links that I share, especially the social media bar, rank inside of Google. So not only does my Power Network blog rank, but these share links as well because they're going to have the tabs on there on the top of your um, the website and you share these share links. And that is what gets you the top um, 
space inside of Google, the share links. When you go through and you do each one of these, um, it's sharing that link right there. Um, and there's some more apps on here that can share all in one place all at once. I think I use, um, let me find the, the app that I like. Um, it had, one second, one second, I'll find it. Every post. <laughs> so every post goes out there to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google Plus and Dropbox, I think, too. So know those little sharing strategies. Just do it all at once and you'll be done. <laughs> and you've shared a link out there to the world. Go and um, come, come get my caption page. And you can see, I think when you refresh it um, enough times every time, it might um, go back to a different capture page know how they set up it. That is how you cloak your link. I hope that was helpful. So get on a schedule and cloak your links, cloak your um, capture pages, blog post, anything to make um, it a little bit more, you know, attractable to the end of the slug right there to get people to click your link. I hope that helps and I'll see you on your journey to success. Dreams.